Well, hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. We get questions all the time. Jerry, we're new to the RV lifestyle. We don't even have a clue how to pack the camper. <laughs> there it is, I'm gonna show you how. Well, hi, it's Jerry, and we have a couple basic simple rules when it comes to packing the camper, especially in that thing, the garage. It, that area can just turn into an absolute disaster. Um, we just came from our winter trip. We had to, for some family reasons, uh, we had to take a couple of uh, months of travel off, but, and we haven't really gone through the garage yet. Uh, we call that the garage, whatever it may be. And a lot of times we shift from our winter camping to our summer camping. And there's certain things that we carry and certain things that we don't carry. And then we've got this rule. We, we, we call it BPOC. <laughs> All right, I hope I don't offend anyone. BPOC is big piles of crap. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. This thing just gets full of junk. And then you'll, you know, especially if you've been camping for weeks or months on end, you know, we were out for like a month and a half, almost two months and it just builds and builds and builds and you take things out, you throw it in, you take things out and it just becomes a wreck and you can't find anything and stuff gets broken. You, you know the drill. Uh, so, so there's really some rules that we have. So when it comes to de be pocking we've got a couple rules. If we haven't touched it in a year, in a year, if we've been through two seasons, winter season, summer season, we get it out of there, we don't need it. Uh, I do the same thing with my tool bags. Um, you know, just anything that we have in there, I pull it all out, we look, I don't need it. If things are broken, I throw it away. Just, you know, just good rules because I don't wanna be out there and then boom, I need something and I either I don't have it or I need something and it's just all broken and beat up, it's time to let it go. So I'm gonna pull every single thing out of there and then I'm gonna restack it. So here's the rules. The first things that come out are the first things I need. So if you look here with me, I've got my satellite. Uh, that's gonna be one of the early things that I set up. Uh, I've got my little handy lights that I put out around the campground. Oh, by the way, the next video, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make those. Kitty stuff, so on and so on. The, the, the less that we use it, the further back that it goes. So I'm gonna pull everything out, reevaluate what we need, what we don't need, and we're gonna go from there. This is the area that plagues me the most. Um, you know, these are those small little miscellaneous items, and I've tried to do some things to organize, um, and I really, I really have some problems <laughs> in this area. One of the things that I do, I'll just kind of give you some tips. Here's just a little cheap, inexpensive canvas bag, and I use this for all my electrical adapters. Uh, I find this works really great for, you know, things like my dog bone that I use for 30 amp and uh, 50 amp conversion, et cetera, et cetera. So at least I know where that stuff is at. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna take this with me anymore. I just don't need a water jug. Um, you always need tie down straps for one thing or another. And this is a, another area where I just kind of stick these things in here. Um, And I'm going to be doing something to change this out. These are just those, you know, miscellaneous items that you need. A pair of pliers, um, slide lube, you know, your rubber gloves. Um, and this is a horrible system. And I'm going to be doing something to reorganize this. Not in this video, but I'm going to be doing that a little bit later on. Um, you've got to have these to keep from knocking your brains out on your slide out. So... If you don't know about these, this is a pull noodle, and you slice it, and stick it on your slide out, and then that way you don't end up with a divot in your head. Um, I, this is one of the things that you just can't do without when we go to the laundry. Uh, we haul our laundry in, the, in that. All right. So I'll do a close-up. There's, there's no need to take everything out. Now here's 
one of the things that I have found that is very, very helpful when it comes to organizing. These are these little hooks. They're about a dollar a piece. You can find them virtually anywhere. Your big box stores, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, um, Harbor Freight. And, you know, these are just, you know, things like uh, safety, safety cables that I need, um, hose for our grill, that type of thing. I've got a larger one over here that I use for our extension cord. And, you know, I've got a few items against the wall over there. I do have one luxury item in here. I do carry a, uh, an air compressor because I'm never able to find an air compressor in a campground if I need it. And it's such a pain in the backside to be able to take this thing to a truck stop to put 110 pounds, 115 pounds in my camper wheels. So um, that's one of my luxury items. And I've got a few things against the wall and uh, I'll show you a close up over on the other side. So, you know, here's the other side. I've got some cleaning supplies, just basic cleaning supplies against the side. I use those all the time. Um, a little cheap home light. Um, leaf blower to kind of clean the campground camping space up. Uh, a squeegee, um, which I would strongly recommend you getting one of these squeegees on a pole. You know, if you ever have to pack your camper up when it's raining, it, it allows you to clean the water off the sides and keep it from getting wet. But it's cleaned out. Now we are going to go through the DBPOC process. So we've traveled enough that I pretty much know what we're going to use and what we're not going to use. I do know we've got two tables. I've got this plastic, you know, I call them camping tables. These are great. And uh, this one's plastic and, and we just don't use it. Um, and then, you know, I've got this nice aluminum one. Love these things. And uh, I use this for a whole lot of things. Usually when we're sitting out here, we'll put us two camping chairs on both sides. And this is where you can set you a, a beverage or a sandwich if you're eating lunch or something like that. And then it folds up super simple. Love this thing. Uh, I'm not going to travel without my satellite. Um, the, if you haven't seen the sun awning, uh, this is the lower portion of the sun awning. I'm going to take that back. I'm going to need the tools. I'm going to keep that. I think the only thing that we're going to get rid of is going to be this table. Um, I don't think we've used it in a year and we're just going to use the one table. Uh, one other thing that I'll share with you, we only take two camping chairs. Uh, we used to take six, never know if you're going to have company. Then we took that down to four, never know if you're going to have company. <laughs> and now we only carry two because here's what we found out. You know, if we're in a campground and people come to visit, um, everybody brings their own chair. Uh, we all sit around the campfire or we all pile in somewhere or, hey, come on over here and visit us. They didn't bring extra chairs for us. We bring our own chairs. So, you know, if you're a family of four, take four chairs. If you're a family of two, take two chairs. You do the math, a chair for everybody. And that really flirt, frees up a lot of space. Um, the other thing that we use is this. <coughs> this is a... This is one of those folding tables. You can buy these at just about any of your big box stores. It opens up like that. Uh, this is our outdoor kitchen. We put the, um, the grill on this and gives us a lot of cooking space. Um, and you can tell it's dirty as the Dickens and it's all scratched up and everything else. It just gets used like crazy. I've been using this thing for five years and it holds up well. The other thing that we have is two outdoor rugs. Uh, those plastic rugs, uh, they're great to keep you from tracking dirt on the inside, give you a nice clean place to sit out at night or in the afternoon. And we have two sizes, a small one and we have a large one. Uh, the reason we have two size, sometimes you'll go into a camping ground, campground and you'll have only a small area that you can put your rug and then grass. And they don't want you to put that rug on the grass because it will kill it and a lot of times the campground owner, and rightfully so, will get a little upset if you put it on the grass. So. We keep two, a large one and a small one. And if we have the space, we'll put the big one out. It gives us a little bit more surface area to sit and we really enjoy it. So <clears throat> I know it don't look like much, but neither is my garage and it will fill up rather quickly. So uh, I'm gonna start the process. I put the least used items in the middle and I work my way back. And uh, so I'll show you that and then we'll go over to what I call the miscellaneous side 
and I'll show you what we do with that. So I start off with flat is good. Uh, the more things that you can put flat, flat stacks well. So I'll start off with that. And that'll be my table. I'll get that put in. Um, I'm going to put my other table because it too is flat. And I, you go, well, Jerry, it's going to slide around. Uh, not when I get through, it's not going to slide around. The next thing I'm going to put into my, uh, my chairs, chair number one. Chair number two. And I'm going to put my rugs in because they're a little round. And you can kind of see the rhythm here. Small rug, big rug. And you can kind of see how this is locking everything in place now to where I can put things. I'm going to put my camping lights back here. I'll put one here. And think of it almost as Legos. Sometimes you might need to pull something out and refit it back in, but I'm finding that fits quite well out of way. Here's my carefree extension, flat. That's going to go up on top. You're going to be surprised at how little this moves around. My friend John Cotton brought me some of these really nice surgical towels. Thank you, John. I appreciate that if you're watching. Love these things. Hope to see you in Cleveland. You can bring me some more. <laughs> Look how much more room that we have now. Wow, this is really something. And I've and I still got a lot of room to go. But uh, this is my little cleanup area that I have here for the kitty en suite. That's handy. And if you haven't seen the kitty en suite, I'll put a, a blog or I'll put a link to the blog so you can see that. But, you know, there it is. And um, this is what we use. Just uh, these are, these are uh, turkey basting pans that, that we use for the kitty pan. That works out great. And when they get, you know, too soiled after two or three weeks of use, we just throw the whole thing in the trash and go from there. And then I just close up like that and latches. Isn't that cool? And um, you know, so we do all the kitty cleaning out uh, from from the inside. And uh, I'm going to vacuum this little spot up here first and then, uh, you know, just get all the sand and dirt and so forth out. That's a good little thing to do. And uh, then I'll finish stacking everything in here. This is one of the first things I take out is my X2 wine guard. And everybody needs a little camper sign. Yay. Our daughter Julie gave us this. That'll go up here. Miscellaneous tools, miscellaneous tools. Bang, there you go. And still more room. If you remember when you saw it a little while ago, this thing was so crowded that, um, you know, you, you couldn't find anything. Now everything is laid out. I know where everything is at. It's not gonna slide around. It's not gonna fall all over the place. Boom, let's go do the other side. I took a few minutes and just kind of cleaned the necessary things out and Bunch of junk in here that just needed to be thrown away. Just not used, it was broken. And you can see now with just some minor organization, you know, I've got a place to put the padlocks and there's lubricants and just all those things that I'm gonna grab right when we get to the campground as far as, you know, my water filter and um, I keep uh, some bleach spray in here to clean off all the faucets and those types of things when we get there. Just a, a nice little tip to do, but you know, it's all accessible right at the top, pliers, easy to get to everything, no problem. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? No, no. BPOC, get that junk out of there. If you haven't touched it in a year plus, why are we taking it out and putting it back in? Taking it out, putting it back in, and never using it. Dump it, give it to somebody, throw it away. Who knows? You just get rid of it. And then just stack everything back up into a logical order. Flat, get everything where you need it, check what's broken. You know, just get everything kind of vacuumed up and looking great again. There it is. It's going to be so easy for us to get to the campground. It's going to be gone for four, 
four months, so excited. And now I know where everything's at, pull it out, put it back in, pull it out, put it back in. We are ready to go. And it's because I love RV life, and you know what? I know you do too. Mm -hmm.